Hello again. Today I'm going to tell you more about my family. We're going to talk about their jobs. So, first of all, Lisa, who is this? That is your sister. Yes. She is a nurse. Isabel, who is this? That is your brother. Yes. Andy is an architect. This is Ian. Ian is a bank manager. Now, Ali, who is this? That is your daughter. Yes, it is. Sarah is a manager. Now, Lisa, who is this? That is your son. Yes. Luke is a website designer. Now, we're going to look at the names of some jobs and uh, I will ask you some questions afterwards. So first, the names of the, job, of the jobs. Let me write them on the board for you and we'll practice. First of all, teacher, teacher, student, student, nurse, nurse, architect, architect, manager, manager, web, site, designer, website, designer, doctor, doctor, waiter, waiter, taxi driver, taxi driver, sales person, sales person, and home maker, home maker. All right, so again, teacher, student, nurse, architect, manager, website designer, doctor, waiter, taxi driver, salesperson, and homemaker. Job vocabulary. Ha. Huh? Um. All right. Now we're going to talk about articles. Articles. This is the name of small words. Today we're going to talk about a and an. They go before a noun. Right here. A or an. Now, usually for a, uh, before a noun, but an is used before a, e, i, o, u, depending on the sound. Now, we'll look at, at some and we'll see some examples. A teacher. A teacher. A student. A student, a nurse, a nurse, a sales person, a sales person, a taxi driver, a taxi driver, a waiter, a waiter. Now we have an architect, an architect because of A, an architect, an engineer, an engineer because of the E, an industrial engineer, an industrial engineer and an organizer. Okay? A E I O. So, an architect, an engineer, an industrial engineer, an organizer. 
All right? Now, we're going to talk about U for a moment. U has two sounds. We're going to talk about U. There's two sounds. For example, university, urban, uncle. Okay? U, but it's a different sound. University, uncle, urban. So you and you, but different sounds. So let's, if we put in a, university, an, uncle. Okay? Because of the sound. Okay. Now, here are some more jobs without articles, and we're going to put the articles in. So, for example, artist, artist. Now, we have a, so we say an artist, an artist. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Ali, let's start with you, and we're going to do singer. Singer. A singer. A singer. All right. Okay. Isabel. Engineer. Engineer. An engineer. An engineer. Good. Mm -hmm. Because of the E. All right. Next. Lisa, we have manager. A manager. A manager. Yes. Good. All right, Ali, back to you. Director. Director. A director. A director. Yes, good. A director. Isabel. Cameraman. Cameraman. A cameraman. A cameraman. Yes, good. Next. Business woman. Business woman. Lisa. A businesswoman. A businesswoman, yes. Ali, here's one for you. Police officer. Police officer. A police officer. A police officer, yes. All right. Okay, there's more. Isabel, sales assistant. Sales assistant. A sales assistant. A sales assistant. Good. Okay. All right. Here's another big one. Lisa, veterinarian. <laughs> veterinarian. A veterinarian. Yeah, good girl. A veterinarian. Okay, Ali, you get a short one. Ali, actor. An actor. An actor. Okay, because of that A. Good. Isabel. Waitress. Waitress. A waitress. A waitress, yes. Okay, and we have waiter. Lisa, waiter. A waiter. A waiter. Okay, Ali, a long one for you. Computer programmer. Computer programmer, Ali. A computer programmer. A computer programmer. Yes. And finally, Isabel, accountant. Accountant. An accountant. Yes, an accountant because of the A. Very good. All right, let's go over these again. An artist, a singer, an engineer, a manager, a director, a cameraman, a businesswoman, a police officer, a sales assistant, a veterinarian, an actor, a waitress, a waiter, a computer programmer, and an accountant. All right. Now, I want to show you another question. Let me take these off and answer. And this is about a job. Now, I want to show you a new question and a new answer. Actually, it's two questions. What is 
your job. What is your job? I'm a or an. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, the second question is the same. What do you do? What do you do? I'm a or an. Mm -hmm. So, if you ask, what is your job? We can put in the answer for me. What is your job? I'm a teacher. What is your job? I'm a teacher. Same information. What do you do? What do you do? I'm a teacher. What do you do? I'm a teacher. Okay, so two questions, one answer. Now, let's practice a little bit. Ali, what is your job? I'm a dentist. Ali, what do you do? I'm a dentist. Yes, that's right. Good. Now you ask Lisa. Lisa, what is your job? I am a doctor. Lisa, you ask Isabel. Isabel, what do you do? I am a student. And Isabel, ask me. What do you do? I'm a teacher. Now, we're going to look at some photos, and I'm going to ask some questions about these people, starting with Ali. Ali, what does Hakan Shukur do? He is a football player. Yes, okay. Is he Turkish? Yes, he is. All right. Now, Lisa, what does Tom Cruise do? He is an actor. Is he American? Yes, he is. All right. Now, Lisa, what is Celine Dion's job? She is a singer. Is she French? Uh, no, she isn't. She is Canadian. Yes. Ali, who is Orhan Pamuk? He is a writer. Is he from Turkey? Yes, he is. All right. Isabel, who is Salvador Dali? He is an artist. Yes, he is. Now, Lisa, what does I am pay do? I don't know. He is an architect. Ali, what does Rami Coach do? He is a businessman. Yes, he is. And Ali, what does Sakip Sabanja do? He is a businessman. Are they businessmen? Yes, they are. All right, very good. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. What do you do? I am an architect. What does she do? She is a doctor. What does he do? He is a dentist. Read and repeat. Job vocabulary, simple present tense. All right, now let's review the simple present tense. Look at this chart. I speak English. I do not speak English. I don't speak English. Do I speak English? You speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? Now for he. He speaks English. He does not speak English. He doesn't speak English. Does he speak English? Now for she. 
And remember the S for he, she, it. She speaks English. She does not speak English. She doesn't speak English. Does she speak English? Now for it. It speaks English. It does not speak English. It doesn't speak English. Does it speak English? Now for we. We speak English. We do not speak English. We don't speak English. Do we speak English? Now for you. You speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? And finally, for they. They speak English. They do not speak English. They don't speak English. Do they speak English? All right. Now, we're going to talk about what people say what, when they talk about their work. For example, we're going to put a noun and a verb together. And we'll also put in the article. So, for example, teacher is the noun and the verb is teach. You're going to put this together and make a sentence. For example, a teacher teaches. Don't forget the S. Now, we're going to do quite a few of these, and here we go. Artist, draw. All right, Lisa. An artist draws. An artist draws. All right. Now, here's another one. Singer, sing. Okay, Isabel. A singer sings. A singer sings. All right. Now, this one is for you, Ali. Writer, write. A writer writes. A writer writes. All right. Next. Engineer. Design, this is a long one, technical projects. Okay, Lisa. An engineer designs technical project. Yes. An engineer designs technical projects. An engineer. All right. Ali, manager. Manage an office. All right, Ali. A manager manages an office. A manager manages an office. Good. Okay, now let's make some space here and we'll do some more. Here we go. Next one is director. Direct. All right, this one is for Isabel. A director directs. A director directs. All right, next one. Cameraman make films. All right, this one is for Ali. A cameraman makes films. A cameraman makes films. All right. Or a cameraman makes television programs or videos. All right, here we go. Business woman. Okay, we saw this before. Do business. Okay, Lisa. A businesswoman does business. Yes, a businesswoman 
does ES business? All right. Next one. Police officer protect people. Okay, Isabel? A police officer protects people. Yes. A police officer protects people. All right. Sales assistant sell things. This is for Ali. A sales assistant sells things. Yes. A sales assistant sells things. And here's a long one. Veterinarian take care of animals. All right, Lisa? A veterinarian takes care of animals. Yes, a veterinarian takes care of animals. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Doctor? Take care of people. All right, this one is for Lisa. Okay, a doctor takes care of people. Yes, a doctor takes care of people. Okay, and actor, act. Okay, Isabel. An actor acts. Yes. An actor acts. Okay, we have the A there. And let's make some space here for the next ones. We have a lot of jobs here. And you can see what these people do. All right. Okay. Oops. Let's use black. Waitress. Serve. Food. All right, this one is for Lisa. A waitress serves food. A waitress serves food. Okay, and also for Lisa. All right. A waiter serves food. A waiter serves food. All right. A waitress is a woman. A waiter is a man. All right, now, another long one. Computer programmer program computers. Okay, Ollie, a long one for you. A computer programmer programs computers. Yes, a computer programmer programs computers okay now accountant manage money all right Isabel an accountant manages money yes an accountant manages money all right very good now, we're going to look at these again. An artist draws. A singer sings. A writer writes. An engineer designs technical projects. A manager manages an office. A director directs. A cameraman makes films. A businesswoman does business. A police officer protects people. A sales assistant sells things. A veterinarian takes care of animals. A doctor takes care of people. An actor acts. 
A waitress serves food. A waiter serves food. A computer programmer programs computers. An accountant manages money. Look and listen. A website designer designs websites. A taxi driver drives a taxi. An architect designs buildings. A singer sings songs. Read and repeat. Did you notice that many of these jobs end in ER? That means a person who does that. Let's make a list. Teacher. Teacher. Singer. Singer. Writer. Writer. Manager, manager, police officer, police officer, waiter, waiter, computer programmer, computer programmer, taxi, driver taxi driver all right so these end in er there are some that end in or o r and we saw some of these director director doctor doctor actor, actor, and there are some that end in IST. The same idea, the person who does the job. And we saw artist, artist, dentist, dentist, here's a new one, scientist, scientist and psychologist psychologist okay now again we have teacher singer writer manager police officer waiter computer programmer taxi driver director doctor actor and Artist, dentist, scientist, psychologist. These are the people who do the jobs. Now, assistants. Can you think of some other names of jobs like this? Let's start with Lisa. A dancer. And what does a dancer do? A dancer dances. Yes. Ali. A football player. What does a football player do? He plays football. Yes. Isabel. A psychiatrist. Good. A difficult word. What does a psychiatrist do? She takes care of people. Yes. Any more, Ali? A farmer. Good. What does a farmer do? He makes food. Well, he grows food. A cook makes food. Any more, Isabel? A professor. How do you spell it? P R O F E S S O R. Yes, very good. And so it's in this list. All right, thank you very much. That was very good. Job vocabulary, pronunciation. Now, 
Let's work on pronunciation. In English, like other languages, we tend to say our words together. For example, let's use this sentence. A taxi driver drives a taxi. So one by one, a taxi driver drives a taxi. But we put it together. It sounds like this. Don't write it like this. A taxi driver drives a taxi. Okay, so these go together. A taxi driver drives a taxi. This is for the sound only. All right? Let's look at another one. A manager manages an office. So, a manager manages an office. But the sound is like this. A manager manages an office. A manager manages an office. So these go together. All right? A manager manages an office together. All right? Now, let's do some practices and we'll see what some other sentences look like. Here's one. An artist draws pictures. An artist draws pictures. An artist draws pictures together. An engineer designs technical projects. When we put it together, an engineer designs technical projects. A police officer protects people. A police officer protects people. A police officer protects people. All right? Here's another one. A sales assistant sells things. When we put it together, a sales assistant sells things. An actor acts. When we put it together, an actor acts. An actor acts. And finally, an accountant manages money. When we put it together, an accountant manages money. So if you listen again, you can see how they go together. An artist draws pictures. An engineer designs technical projects. A police officer protects people. A sales assistant sells things. An actor acts. An accountant manages money. OK, so this is pretty normal. Now. I want to work on a different kind of pronunciation, the sounds of A and E. Now, we're going to work with just two vowels, A and E, because they have different sounds. We'll talk about short A, A, and short E, E. A Eh. All right. Now, here are some words with the ah sound. Am, at, answer, man, ask, and, actor, 
taxi. Okay, again, this is the ah sound. Am, at, answer, man, ask, and, actor, taxi, ah. Now, here are some words with the eh sound. Eh. Men, pen, send, sell, technical, and dentist. Eh. Men, pen, send, sell, technical, dentist. Okay? Ah, uh, eh. Now, we're going to look at some words, uh, and it doesn't matter if you don't know them. This is only for practicing the sound of ah uh, and eh. Now, let's look at the monitor, and we'll do them together. Here we go. First, Matt met. Sat set. Add ed. Sad said. Dad did. Bad bid. And end. Band, bend. Had, head. Bag, big. Man, men. All right, very good. Review. Now, let's do some review. Now, first, Ali, tell me about you. Mm. My name is Ali Aksoy. I am from Turkey. I live in Istanbul. I am 25 years old. I am a dentist. I like my work. I have two brothers and one sister. All right. Thank you, Ali. Now, Lisa. Okay. My name is Lisa Roberts. I'm a doctor. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Hamburg, Germany. I like the cinema, I speak German, I speak English. Yes, you do. Thank you, Lisa. Now, Isabel. My name is Isabel. My last name is Monet. I am from Paris, France. I am 23 years old. I study English. I like English. Okay. Thank you all very much. Now. What do you want to know about me, Ali? How old is your daughter? She's 25. Is she pretty? Yes, of course. Where are you from in Canada? I'm from Toronto. Lisa? Do you like your job? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. Do you speak German? Yes, I do. A little. Isabel? Do you speak French? Yes, I do. Do you teach French? No, not now. Do you teach English? Yes, that is my job. Thank you all very much. Now, let's listen and write. Listen and write. First, we're going to do a dictation. Write these words. Number one, teacher. Number two, student. Number three, driver. Number four, waiter. Number five, artist. Now, check your work. Number one, teacher. Number two, student. Number three, driver. Number four, 
waiter. Number five, artist. Now, write these sentences. Number one, the doctor works in a hospital. Number two, an architect works in an office. Number three, what do you do? Number four, I'm a dentist. Number five, my mother is an engineer. Now, check your work. Number one. The doctor works in a hospital. Number two. An architect works in an office. Number three. What do you do? Number four. I'm a dentist. Number five, my mother is an engineer. Now, read this story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Daniel is a doctor. He works in a hospital. He is 37 years old. His wife, Catherine, is an engineer. She works in an office. She is 35 years old. They have two children. Their son is 10 years old. Their daughter is 13. They are students. This family lives in Los Angeles in the U.S. They are American. They speak English. Now, listen to the questions, write the answers. Number one, what does Daniel do? Number two, where does he work? Number three, how old is he? Number four, what does his wife do? Number five, what is her name? Number six, how old is she? Number seven, how old are their children? Number eight, where does this family live? Number nine, are they Australian? Number ten, do they speak English? Now, check your work. Number one, what does Daniel do? He's a doctor. Number two, where does he work? He works in a hospital. Number three, how old is he? He is 37 years old. Number four, what does his wife do? She is an engineer. Number five, what is her name? Her name is Catherine. Number six, how old is she? She is 35 years old. Number seven, how old are their children? They are 10 and 13. Number eight, where does this family live? 
They live in Los Angeles in the U.S. Number nine. Are they Australian? No, they aren't. They are American. Number ten. Do they speak English? Yes, they do. All right. Very good. We'll see you again. Practicing English. Hey, you guys! Look, a new show has just opened up at the Taxim Theater. I really want to see it. My friend Sandy wants to perform on the stage someday. She sings and performs in all the plays at her school. Interesting. What are your favorite types of play? Well, Sam, because I like to sing, musicals are my favorite shows. You know what I mean. So I wonder what I will do when I finish my contract with English Time. That's more than two years away from now. Sam, what do you want to do? Well, Angie, you know my real occupation is computing, and I like computers a lot. So I think I'll work in a company or an office that works with computing. What about you, Alexi? Well, I think I'll be here for a long time. I really like my job. You all know that I like reading. Maybe I'll teach English at a high school or a university. Well, my father is an architect, and he designs all kinds of buildings. What does your father do, Alexi? Well, my father is a manager at a big bank here in Istanbul. I know Angie's father is a professor at a university. It sounds like she will be doing the same as him. Yes, that's right. He also teaches English. I guess I like books so much because he was always reading to me when I was a child. Well, as you guys know, my dad has his own business. It's just a small restaurant, but it's busy. Hmm. All of our fathers work in different jobs. I wonder who likes his job the most. Hey, Sandy, you didn't tell us about your father's job. It's your turn. My dad is a pilot. He flies very big planes all around the world. Oh, that's really cool, Sandy. Maybe I could talk to him about how to get a job and travel. Do you think he would talk to me? Sure. He likes to meet my friends, and he tells great stories about his travels around the world. Oh, would you ask him if he has time to talk to me soon? Of course. Could you let me know your cell phone number, and he could call you? Oh, thanks, Sandy. That is great. Well, that covers our fathers. But I can't remember how many of our mothers also work. My mom is a homemaker. She doesn't work outside the home, but she works very hard in it. Well, my mom is a teacher, and she works in my brother's primary school. Huh? My mom is a flight attendant. She works at the same airline as my dad. They sometimes fly in the same planes together. Wow! I didn't know that. Yeah, my parents are really fun to be with. They have seen many parts of the world. Where does your mom work? She is a manager at an insurance company. She likes working there very much. Sometimes I feel like there's so many choices for jobs and careers. It can be confusing. I know what you mean. A pilot, an accountant, a sales director, police officer. It's too many choices. That's why you should talk to my dad, Sam. He can answer your questions about working for an airline. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, look over there! There goes a famous person right there. She's on TV and in the movies all the time. She's going into that theater. Yes, I know her. Her name is Melton Jumbel, and she's on my favorite show. See, Istanbul is amazing. You never know who you will see here. I just got here, and I know who she is already too. Someday, when I'm famous, I'll wave to you when I arrive at the theater for a show. <laughs>